Look at how wonky it all is. I mean, I've got no idea what I'm doing. Oh, I don't know. Sturdy. I should probably hang off it, although I don't think I should. You don't hang off it. <laughs> I need to get the sensor electricity wire in somehow, and the sensor needs to go to the tank, waste tank underneath, so it throws you when it's full. And I've also got a sensor that goes to here as well. And then you connect it up to this thing, which will basically just tell you when your tank's full here and they tell you your levels of your fresh water as well. <sighs> I've got no idea how to do it though. Anyway, let's give it a go, see what happens. Well, that was just as good job I moved it. I was going for a hole over here. It wasn't quite going in moved over this way. Um, let me show you underneath the van. Shower there. Drill coming through here. We showed you in a previous video that when we were doing the shower, we put another pipe at the back. We're pulling some wire through just in case. We're putting an extra bit of conduit in for any extra, you know, electricals that we might need <laughs> in the future. Just a bit of conduit, a bit of wire. Simple as that, really. Well, weirdly, it's paying off because um, I need to use it. So this was the extra bit we put in with a bit of wire going through so that we could put anything through from the back if we needed to. So this is the wire I need to wall through. And it's going to go through this conduit. I just need to start pulling it through. Get in. Success. That's why you should always put a spare in. Just let's hope it doesn't happen again because I've got no more spares. So you can see the wire is coming through from inside the van and attaches to the tank. This is Simon. All the girls fancy him. You can see why now. <laughs> Much nearly cracked it. It's just this, yeah, this bit. The idea is to take some off here and then down here. Yeah, that did the job. How easy was it? One to ten. Right. How straight are my units? <laughs> you can see it though, can't you? Because literally, see with the gaps. And look, cool, blimey, yeah, you're right. Look at that one. Oh, not much I can do about that. Thanks, mate. Right, we're just going to try and cut out the worktop. Um, hob bit. Problem is, I think it's going to go over here. Nice. 
takes a lot more weight out though, doesn't it, when you keep cutting these bits out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh god. That's definitely not gonna work. Well, it won't go in there that deep. It's just gotta cut this shit out. It's all been ripped out and the drawer still works. Nice job, bird. Nice job. So we're all now complete. What do you think, Soph? Looks really good. Yeah. Uh, how did he do it? How did he get it to like fit? <laughs> Magic. <laughs> Magic. I literally have no idea. I, I just watched him, he was just doing stuff with pencils. Yeah. That's and what you get when you have it do it as a job. Yeah. Looks very good. He is good, he's a good carpenter. Yeah, I'm excited to like be cooking, chopping. Yeah. Washing up when we've got the thing in. Yeah, that's next. And he's still work. He's definitely looking like a kitchen now. Yeah? It is. Yeah, very good. And then I'll get oils with this so it'll look a bit like, I don't know, just a bit different. Yeah. Like, it's all going to be all completely sanded yeah. down, and then we've got, I've got the oil inside. And I'll oil it all down. Yeah. Well, that's the end of another adventurous day. Work talk completed. Thanks to Simon. A legend. And water sensor wired in. Doesn't sound like a lot, does it? But, you know, we got there. And we're back again. How many times have we been back, do you reckon? So, as you, where were we yesterday? Worktop is mostly fitted, uh, as in it's all cut out. The hob um, hole has been cut out. So what I'm working on at the moment is the sink, which sounds easy, but I want to make it under mounted sink. And as Bird was saying yesterday, that's Simon, by the way, um, Simon Bird, not the in-betweener, was saying that you basically need to support under the sink, which, which obviously he's right. So just been thinking about how we do that so I've basically cut out a few more supports for the sink I just need some supports to go across here which I've kind of created the sink I'm using is from Ikea I actually got the idea off of uh, Mel's Big Van Small World uh, channel uh, where he did this for Becky and it works really well so it wasn't too bad it was only like £55 for a sink which for a sink isn't really isn't that bad a price it's 11 59 Waiting for it to hit 12, so I can drink some Guinness. 12. Struggling, struggling, struggling. I'm trying to cut out the sink from the worktop. The sink is going to go underneath the worktop. So I just need to cut enough around so that I can see as much as that underneath it. No, that's not true. I've got to cut out a hole that's as wide as. Oh. Is that right? I've got no idea what I'm doing. Oh, I don't know. Okay, this is a bit dumb. Let me show you. I put sticky tape, masking tape, double sided it, placed the template kind of where I want it to, and I'm going to pull this down over the top so that it sticks to where I want it to go.
that. It's kind of where it's stuck. There's no way to sugarcoat it. I'm just literally no way to sugarcoat it. It's one of the most the straightest things I've ever cut in my life. Look at how wonky it all is. I'm at the point where I don't give a shit. I think that's well quirky. Completely uneven. Rush job. That's what happens when you start rushing things. Impatient. Should have waited for a bird. You could have done it. Well, that was the motivating. I'm going to call it a night now. I think I might have to buy a new worktop. So it's working on the worktop and just sanding it down really to get it all oiled. I'm working on now where the waste is going to go in the floor. Right in the, this corner is kind of where I need the waste to be because anything over it starts to hit stuff under the van that's not, well it can't hit it basically. And then I've just been looking at obviously the waste bit is what needs to go through. So I want it to probably come up to about here through the floor. I'm just not sure this is going to be long enough because my floor is quite thick. Hmm, it should be okay. Might have to just go a bit further in and then put the pipe at the top. I'll figure out anyway. I kind of feel like we're really far into the build now and we should be moving a bit faster. Um, but everything's just so slow as always. It's just always so slow. Today we should have the worktop done. Hopefully a mattress in. <laughs> worktop oil and a cloth and we've sanded the worktop down twice now so it's all pretty smooth so I'm going to put a generous layer of worktop on oil on it says that new wood needs three coats so and it takes about two three hours to dry in between each coat so it's going to take all afternoon <laughs> uh, so yeah just going to get on with that and I'll show you what I'm doing Because of Andy's quirky cutout, as he likes to call it, <laughs> we decided to, rather than undermount the sink, we're going to just put it on top, like in the hole. Uh, I think that's better anyway. I didn't want to tell him before, but I think it'll look nice. So, yeah, we're just trying to fix his mistakes as per usual. A pigeon on the roof, and I've got a very <laughs> intrigued little cat. <laughs> she is a hunter. Mm -hmm. In other news, I'm putting the sink in. So the worktop is now all oiled. It's had three coats of oil yesterday. It's a good job we did it yesterday because it's now taking it down with rain. The weather update for this video. <laughs> I feel like we do that every time. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's got a nice finish to it. It feels quite smooth. Um, it feels protected. Like if this, you know, it's got kind of residue. It's not residue, but different to just bare wood. And yeah, putting the sink in. Yeah, so we're gonna do this and then take it into the van and install it properly, basically, the worktop, I think. And also get the mattress in, although it's raining, so it's not the best time to be carrying out a mattress in the weather. All right, we've got it in, we've got silicon on, we're just screwing it together so it'll pull it down a little bit and secure it. Taps fitted. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a 
informative. So if she's sorting out the uh, silicon. Underneath. Right, we're on to actually installing the worktop now. So we've put it in and unfortunately we've put quite a lot of screws in already, but it's not quite aligned right. You can see it's just missing this corner, which I didn't realize. So we need to unscrew all of the screws we've put in so far and just push it about three millimeters and then do it all again. But it is looking pretty fabulous really really pleased with it so we've got we're putting a plug here for any like appliances or anything like that that we might want to plug in there so we've just put that in today as well this will have maybe some stick on tiles or something as a backsplash and yeah it's looking swish so it's annoyed at me <laughs> putting the worktop in i put a hole in after all that work going into preserving it Mm. There's definitely ways to fill that and you won't notice it. No. You can figure it out. But we're now going to put a mattress in the back. So we've just opened up the Simba mattress that we've ordered and it comes with, oh, it's got like a cover and then a zip and inside it's just like a memory foam piece. So we know that we're going to have to cut it down and it should be quite easy hopefully just to kind of fit it to what we need. It's a bit of foam isn't it? It's just foam, yeah. Why does it look dirty? Because your handprints are on it. Ugh, my hand's dirty too. Yeah. Gross. Right, come on then. Is it actually heavy or is it just cumbersome? It's not heavy. No. No. That's pretty spacious. Does it feel all right? Yeah. I mean, more so because of this is here. I yeah, think. that helps. It's worked perfectly, is not it? Look at that now. We can... I know. Yeah. I'm just going to close the doors and see what it's like. Here you going, then. The door's closed. Close them. Yep, properly. Oh, I'm just going to close. <laughs> just gonna close I don't know how I feel about this gap. Is that quite a big gap? Okay, so I've got it in one end. Just cutting this bit off. <laughs> this is kind of just eyeballing how much we think, so pray for us. How much was this? <laughs> yeah, how much was it? Um, 300 and something quid. I'm just chopping it up. I know. <laughs> I can. He can put his head in the skylight. <laughs> okay, have we cut too much off? We could use that. Oh, we've cut way too much off. No, we haven't. We actually have. You motherfucker. We haven't. He does this all the time. I mean, we have. <laughs> What's a centimetre between friends? No, I think that's pretty much perfect to be honest. Oh bloody hell, that was eyeballed. <laughs> and then once we've got the actual cover on top of it. So this looks okay. This, as you can see, is a tiniest of gaps. But once we've got the Simba cover over the top, mm. I think I don't think we're even going to have to cut anything away from the corners. No, nah, like I, I think so, because it gives it a bit more yeah. tightness. Yeah, 
I, I mean, that good. I think that needs a bit cut off. That looks really tight. Wait, you've already done the roof, the ceiling. Why are you taking it down? <laughs> well, there's a few things we needed to fix. Some of the tongue and groove bits were coming apart a little bit. So we just need to kind of fix those bits up. And also we're putting in the overhead cabinets today. So we needed to kind of take a bit off here. We're just spending a bit of time doing this bit, fixing those bits at the back. Oh, Jesus. And then we're gonna put them up. Well, there's loads of other stuff we need to do first, but. <laughs> It's a lot of shit, to be honest. Yeah. It works. Doesn't really work very well, does it? No. It's pointing out. Because the whole thing twists. Well, yeah. that's kind of the point, though. Yeah, but look, if you do it like that, it doesn't. It just can't seem to cope. What's the point? Maybe there's an act to it. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, we finished fiddling around with the roof, the ceiling. Now we've just made this extra piece of plywood because the cabinet's sitting a little higher than where this one ends. So we're just putting that up so we've got a nice surface to then tile on and just sorting out kind of these wires at the top a little bit more. Where's my Burger King? I know, we've got a Burger King on the way as well. <laughs> Burger King and a beer, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good idea. Hopefully. Not quite, you know. It needs to be dead straight like that. Feel a bit of the top maybe. Yeah. Yeah, a bit. Yeah. Right, so we've scribed both pieces and now we're just gonna build it. And we can get it up. Called? We've got an overhead, oh, cabinet, overhead storage. And then we built one. Yeah. To be honest, with you, it's worked all right. Yeah. So we just need to cut this bit out here. Yeah, that bit just needs to be cut out for some wire access. Well, and so that it goes up higher, so it's straight. But I mean, we, you're holding a cabinet in your hands. That's really exciting. Yay! <laughs> Try and remember to make sure this is closed before you pick it up by the handle because otherwise this is what happens <laughs> good does that look? Despite the fact that we bought this ready-made there's loads of things that it doesn't do. Um, one it doesn't have a divider in the middle so we're kind of creating our own. Let's ignore this end panel because <laughs> we copped we up not... the first end panel. I think we? we might have filmed that did we? I don't know. 
Um, and then, so anyway, we're creating a middle bit. And then what also is missing is that when you want to attach it to the wall, there's nothing to attach it with. So we have to then build some battens that go at the back here to attach. And I also need to put a batten at the top so that that can go into the ceiling. So yeah, although you do buy it as a package, I can't say I'm overly happy about it because I feel like those sort of things should come with it. Mm, yeah, I don't know why there's no nothing. There's literally no way to attach it included, which seems a bit odd to me. Yeah. Okay, so we have finished putting the extra battens in so that we can attach it securely to the ceiling and the wall so they'll be nice and strong. And now I'm gonna start painting them. So we're gonna just go for white. We have a completed upper storage cabinet as you enter the van. Think so. Looks really good. It's nice and sturdy. I could probably hang off it, although I don't think I should. You don't hang off it. <laughs> Jesus. There's some yeah. things I don't trust. That's my handiwork. Yeah, it looks really good. I mean, this looks. This does look wonky at the bottom, but it's only because that actually isn't very really straight. But... Yeah, it's. It looks straight at the top, which is what matters. Yeah. This one though. Is a little like it's not wonky. I mean, it, but it does move. Look, it does move a little bit. Now I'm pretty certain I can hang off that because I pulled all my weight on it. But it, I don't know. I'm not overly comfortable with it because this end doesn't budge. But this one's got nothing to drill into. It's annoying. Right, that's it. That's the end of another video. Um, we have tackled loads this week. We've done the worktop mattress. The overhead cabinets and the water sensor for the water tanks loads of stuff yeah loads of stuff actually it's been quite busy yeah always hmm. two videos in a row as well two weeks in a row which is most unusual yeah anyway we've got a crack on so we shall see you in the next one. Oh, wait a minute don't forget like subscribe hit the notification bell comment comment tell us how bad we're doing or how good <laughs> no. we're doing <laughs> Leave us a van emoji if you've got this far in the video. Yeah, or that. A van emoji, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Cool. See, See you later. You Bye. Bye.